as you can see, the auto line has now touched down. We can disengage autopilot. And spoilers in full reverse. There we go. Hello everyone, this is GeoFest Flight Channel. So today I'm going to show how you can configure the Autopilot Plus Plus script for Autolay and how you can form an auto land in GeoFS. So first thing you want to do is open up Tamper Monkey on your dashboard, and then you want to go to the Autopilot Plus Plus script. And then what you want to do is go here to find, click find, then you want to type in ground elevation. As you can see, it highlights this little text here. So originally here you'll have a 500. What you want to do is change that 500 to a zero. What this is going to do is it's going to enable the Autopilot Plus Plus to function below 500 feet. If we didn't change this, the Autopilot Plus Plus will automatically disconnect at 500 feet. So now that you have changed that, click Save. Now you can do that by going File and Save. And now your script is ready for AutoLand. So now we need to see how we can make an AutoLand route because there are some differences between a regular route and an AutoLand route. So here I have a route from Bangalore to San Francisco. This is a pre-made route that I made a while back. We have a proper arrival and a proper departure. So as you can see, we have an arrival here, and it takes us all the way to the runway. But because we are trying to make an autoland route, we need to make one minor change. And that is, we need to put another waypoint at the other end of the arrival runway. So as you can see, we're landing on runway 28 right. We need to put a waypoint at the end of 28 right. So near 10 left, we're going to go here and put another waypoint here, and we're going to call it butter. And now with this change, you, you can uh, make, you can do an autoland in GeoFS. So first, let's create the FMC route, and then what I'm going to do is paste this into the GeoFS FMC. So I'm going to paste this into the FMC. Now what you want to do is, we're going to need a little bit of math here. We're going to put in altitudes here, because the autopilot, Autoland runs on the VNAV, and the VNAV needs the altitudes to work. So first thing you want to do is find the elevation of your arrival airport. Well, these two waypoints, you want the altitude to be 100 below the elevation of the runway. So in this case, since the elevation is 13, here I'm going to round up to 20, just to be safe. I'd rather come in too high than too low. So we're going to put here, we're going to do negative 80, since 20 minus 100 is negative 80. So we're going to put negative 80 for both of these. Next, what we'll do is go to the legs portion of the FMC, and here we're going to see that the distance is between each waypoint. And the, how we want to get the altitude for the rest of the waypoints is we want to be descending at around 300 feet per nautical mile, or 1,000 feet per 3 nautical miles. Either or should work. So as you can see, the distance between FABLA and ML28 right is 1.3 nautical miles, and we should descend about 400. So negative 80 plus 400 is approximately 320, if I'm right. And I'm just going to round that down to 300. Also, one more thing you need to keep in mind is that the last digit needs to be a 0, otherwise it will not work. So if, here, if I put 302, it will not work. So you need to make sure it ends in a zero. So let's move on to the next waypoint. The next one is one nautical mile apart, so we'll do 300 for that. So that's going to be 600. Again, it's just a little bit of basic math. If you want an exact formula, you'll mul multiply the nautical mileage by 300, and that's how much feet you should be descending within that span. So we're going to have 3.3 nautical miles for the next one. And here we can do around a 1,000 feet descent, so I'll put 1,600. And then here we can do... This is 5.6, so we can do around 1,900 feet. So I'm going to put 3,500 here. And then we'll do, we'll do one more because I think this is where the base turn comes in. So two nautical miles, we can do about 600. So I'll just round that up to 4,000. I'm going to spawn around this area because this rock me, the rock me waypoint is over here, and I'm going to just spawn here for demonstration purposes, but of course, if you're doing a regular flight, you wouldn't spawn in, you just uh, configure the VNAV for the approach, and I'll show you how to do that. So, since I'm spawning in, I'm going to need to enter the uh, altitude manually first. I'm just going to go to set this to the same as here. You go to the VNAV tab, you disable speed control, then you want to put in a cruise altitude, I'll just put 35,000 feet, and then you want to enable the VNAV. And then make sure this is set, and make sure you have altitudes over here, and then the autopilot should take care of everything else. So at 4,000 feet, I usually come in at 180 knots. So I'm going to set that, and I'm going to engage the autopilot. There we go. And also, we'll be at flaps, too. So you can see the ver VNAV has filled in the vertical speed. So you want to leave that empty normally so that the VNAV can automatically adjust that as needed. So now, as you can see, we're on the, we are on the approach. And we'll, so what we'll see is that when we switch over to the next waypoint, the VNAV will automatically change the altitude as well. So that should happen any moment now. 
Okay, we're on the next waypoint. And we'll see that the autopilot has now changed the altitude to 3500. And we'll do this for every waypoint. And since we changed the autopilot script, we'll be able to go down to zero feet. And we won't, the autopilot won't disconnect after 500. I'll just speed this up a little bit. Okay, now we're now coming up on 3,000 feet of altitude, so I'm going to reduce my speed now to 150 knots. This is usually the speed that I do auto land at, so 150 is the typical uh, speed at which auto, pilot, auto land performs the best. And then I'm just going to do full flaps. And also, I think we can do gear down as well. And gear is down. And now I'll just speed up the next bits. Okay, so as you can see, if you look in the distance, where the poppy lights say that we are following the proper glide slope, glide slope for approach. In auto land, we are going to actually end up getting a little bit lower than usual, but this is fine. The um, autopilot will just automatically flare and uh, correct that so that we'll touch down at the right zone. All right, we're now coming up on the final, and like I said, we are starting to get a little bit low based on what the poppy lights are saying, but like I said, that's fine. The auto land will start to flare and we'll be okay and as you can see where the autopilot is still going even though we're below 500 feet so that's because we changed the script if we didn't change the script we, this would not be possible so as you can see we're now starting to flare and if you want a smoother landing you'd uh, ideally disengage here but as you can see the auto line has now touched down we can disengage autopilot and spoilers in full reverse there we go The Autoland has now completed a successful landing at San Francisco. So that's how you do an Autoland at GeoFS. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Hope you guys uh, found this useful, and thank you for watching.